The purpose of a writer is to make revolution irresistible. Tony Cade Bambara. I'm Ted Neal. I read, I write, I publish, I repeat, and I love Arcane. I feel like an examination of the ethics of the world of Arcane through the lens of moral foundation theory can teach us so much about storytelling, world building, character development. Moral foundation theory is a grouping of six virtue and vice pairs, which are intuitive to the human psyche. They're behind me for reference. So let's jump in, shall we? The next character we're considering in our examination is uh, Sheriff Marcus. Oh, Marcus. Um, Marcus is our last go-between character um, to look at. And the last character who lives a split life or uh, split existence between Zahn and Piltover. And let's call it like it is. Marcus is not very likable. Um, he's a moral coward. He's a bully. He betrays characters who have more integrity than himself, such as Sheriff Grayson and Caitlin. And on, on almost all ethical dimensions, he chooses poorly. Let's look at it. He chooses lying and cheating over equity and fairness. He chooses harming others over protecting and caring about them. He chooses bullying and oppressing others over liberty. Um, he abuses his authority when he subverts uh, things and um, the actual rule of law is what he's subverting, which he's meant to protect and serve. Um, and he's not even loyal to his comrades, as I've pointed out, because uh, he's kind of a snake to both Grace and Caitlin and uh, the um, council as well. 